Hey everybody, welcome back. I have to work on my Christmas cards today, and since you guys wanted to see me working on them, I'm going to go ahead and do them on video. Um, I have to get these caught up, so, and on cue, the dogs have come in. I've just got my um, paper cutter here and two slices, two uh, sheets of watercolor paper, which is my Fabriano Studio watercolor paper, not my super good stuff. This is 25% cotton um, and 140-pound, 300 GSM, 11 by 14. And I'm just cutting that up into 4 by 6 sheets, which is going to leave me a lot of leftover, unfortunately. Um... So I'm going to cut these six inches. And cut that one six inches out. I'm so sorry. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get. Oh, gosh, always on cue. Never a dull moment. Okay. Now I'm going to cut them this way at four inches. This way I can... Um, do some of my family cards that I'm going to put in mats as Christmas card gifts, I guess you could say. These two sheets only give me eight paintings, and then, oh shoot, that slid. Luckily it slid the right direction, so I'm not going to have a problem here. There. And we'll cut these up. Okay. Let me zoom in on this. Whoops, that's a little wide. There we go. Um, I think I'm just going to do another one of these snowman paintings. And what I want to do here is just make a couple hills like this. That's going to go way down there. Then I'm going to have some rolling hills back here. Like that. And then I want to take my either my fine liner or some of my PBO and put that on. Uh, I could do that or this. Let's see. This will probably be dry quicker. And I might do a couple of them. The reason I mix that up is because it mixes the blue back in. Um, oh, that smells so lousy, though, doesn't it? Okay. In order to do birch trees... I've got to use the masking fluid because they're white and I need to protect the white of the paper. Um, I also want to put some some pine trees behind there too. This one's probably dry, yeah. How about this one? That one's dry. It's just this one that was a little tacky yet. Just on that big tree. So now I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to start by putting in my sky. 
So I need some ultramarine blue. Mix that up, make a nice puddle of that. Then I'm gonna just rinse my brush a little bit. It's probably got a little blue on it, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wet the whole area down. Wet right over the trees. And just make sure you get your get down to the edge of the hill there. And that's pretty darn wet. And then I'm gonna take this one and do the same. Okay, now I'm going in the background again, and I'm just putting in some trees, kind of loosely. I want a nice tree line. And I've just mixed a little turquoise uh, ultramarine blue together, keeping it somewhat dilute. This one's a little bit darker, but that's okay. And I don't want a lot of detail with these because they're way in the background. brown. I'm just going to make a pine tree back here. I'm breaking up the trunk a little bit. I'm going to do the same over here. Up 
it's dry. Uh, brown should dry first, though. And that is nowhere near dry. I'm just going to give it a little push here. Actually, I should be putting the colors in on the other ones. That's what I'll do. Okay, back to the first one, which is still a little wet. Okay, now I'm going to take my green. And I'm just going to start building up my tree top. Okay, so now I've got these three done to this point, and I'm going to go ahead and now that the paint is all dry behind it, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the masking fluid so that we could finish the birch trees. Before putting all the black on, I forgot I need to put the shadows on the trees. Now um, I just need to decide which way the sun is coming from. I think I'm going to have it coming down this way. So I'm going to mix up a little shadow color. Um, you can use whatever you want, um, blue, purple, uh, whatever. Right now I'm just going to use a little bit of moon glow that I have in my palette. a little too strong. Maybe I should have gone a little bluer. I think I will because that is just... I need to go bluer. I'll mix some blue into that and a little bit of pink into that. Make it purplier. There we go. That should be better now. Oops, and I've got the shadow on the wrong side of the tree. See, I'm not thinking here. <sighs> Well, at least this tree is covered mostly by another tree behind it, so. It's getting a lot of green in it. I may just have to change that one to a different kind of a tree. Now you may not be able to see the white in some of the spots, but you just go ahead and make up another trunk wherever. I'm going to take my wet brush. I'm just going to wet the other side to kind of pull that purple in a little bit so that it softens the edge of that shadow. And then it'll just kind of pull itself in. This tree I'm going to change to a different color. I'm going to make it brown. And this one... Okay, and do it again on this one.
Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix up some snow color. It looks like this got dirty, so I'm going to try to rub this off. My fingers must have been dirty. I don't know where that came from, but I want to check. I want to make this browner, so I'm just going to add a little bit of brown to my little leftover shadow color here, and it's going to kind of gray it down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this in here. And I want it a little darker on this side. There. Now we can go in with the gray, or the, yeah, the Payne's gray, or your black, or whatever it is that you're using for your birch trees. And we can just put the lines in. Just make them here and there so that they don't look too exact. And then when the trunk gets smaller and you get into the other branches, you stop all together. And then I'm just going to take some pale gray for the other branches and I'm going to gray these down. Whoops, I got brown in there. And then add some more branches to it. that here and there. soften them. Should really blue them out, but it will blow them out a little bit. Thank you. 
Okay, and then I want to take a little shadow color, mixing my blue and my purple together and make it more of a blue violet. And I'm just going to bring those shadows this way. This makes it easier too because they ran off of the page. So you don't have to worry about the upper branches in the shadow. This one got too purpley. I don't like that. So I'm just going to try and fix it a little bit. Okay, and then to do a snowman, uh, let me dry this a little bit. Should, I should have thought about the snowman first. I forgot I was doing a snowman here. What I'm going to try to do on this one is I'm going to try to scrub out a little bit of this blue area. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that'll work. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the bluey purple and then on the shadow side of the snowman I'm just going to put in a few circles here. Just half circles. We don't need to give the illusion of the whole thing. There. And now we can take some gray and make a little hat. If you want to do a stocking cap or a regular hat, I'm just going to do a regular hat here. Like this. A brimmed hat. And then we need to do eyes and nose, mouth, all that. Or we can skip a mouth even. I'm just going to do the two eyes. And then I'm going to do some buttons going down the front. Like that. Then I want to take some brown. I'm going to make some arms and you don't want them to be the same.
and a little orange for the carrot. I'm just using some Quinacridone Sienna and then just a little triangle. Just like that. I think I'm going to add a little more of the purpley blue though because I missed a little bit down here. This needs to be bluer down in front of the snowman. I think I had orange on my brush still. Shoot, there, that'll work. And I need to get a little more. For this circle here. And I need some fur here on the tree too. I didn't get this side of the tree either. Oops, that's not, that's too purpley. There we go. That's a little bit better. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, to finish that off, that's all you need to do. Oh, I want to put a scarf on him too, so I think I'll put a red scarf on him. Let me find some red. That red is a little bright. I guess it's not too bad. And it's gonna kind of blow in the wind. There. And if you want to put a mouth on, you can, but I like him without a mouth, so. That's how I'm going to leave it, and that's all there is to it. Um, if you want to put it in a... Oh, I'm going to add some snow, too. I forgot about that. I need to add some snow on the actual um, trees themselves. Where's my gouache? Oh, here it is. That snow really adds to the Christmas feel, I think. So I'm just going to take some. dab it here and there. I'm leaving it very thick and I'm also not pressing on the branches. You could put it in the tree too if you want to, uh, in your regular trees, but um, when they're white, if the background is white, you're not going to see it anyway, so sometimes it can just make the tree look a little off. Like now here I've got this black in here, I could put a little pile of snow on there and see if that shows, but see I don't think it's going to show. But that's all there is to it. So simple. Um, I've got two, well, I've got one done, one almost done, and another one that needs, is a little bit further behind. But I can get three of these done fairly quickly, so that's not too bad. And if you wanna make it snow, you can put a little snow on there also. I think I will I'll put a little snow on. I'm gonna use a smaller brush this time to make it easier. This little pan is hard to get into. Yeah, it 
works, but it's, it's a little hard to... I think I need the bigger one. That's taken too long. So. Got a little happy there. There we go. Oops, right there too. There. If you get it quick enough, you're okay. And if you have like a Wink Estella pen or something like that, you can use that as well. Um, I like to use my clear one. And that's kind of nice make the snowman sparkle a little bit. Oh, that looks cool. A little sparkle on the trees. Only on the close-up trees. You don't want to do that on the distant trees. And he needs to make a shadow also. If the trees are making a shadow, he needs to make a shadow. So you want to take your bluish purple color again. That one's going to probably be too blue now. I'm just going to go up by him. And then I'm going to do that. There, that'll work. That's it. So here's my completed um, painting. And if you wanna make it into a card, you can. If you wanna put a mat over it, that's what it would look like matted. So that's it, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.